trader Peter Tuckman is joining us now live from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. So, Peter, uh, how bad is it today? What are you hearing there on the floor from your compatriots? So, you know, I think there's deep anxiety, deep fear in the market. It is a Friday afternoon. There are a lot of rebalances today, the MSCI and uh, some pension funds. But after a week of down 4,000 points, coming into a weekend with a lot of unknowns, I think you're going to still see a little bit more of a sell-off. And Peter, uh, let me ask you about a specific trade we've heard about today. Some, some call it like the bunker trade. Uh, companies that might benefit in the short term if coronavirus unfortunately continues. You know, Zoom, teleconferencing is up big. Some are talking about Clorox being up because of people buying the cleaning products. Campbell's Soup has weathered the storm this week because of the idea that people are buying canned goods. Is that something you've been seeing and watching? You know what, look, the one that I happened to notice was 3M, which definitely you know, um, bunked, bunked the trade a little bit because of they're, they're making the masks. But at this point, I think the broad-based sell-off is significant. I think the fact that it's happening here on a Friday after a breakdown, um, you know, it's, it, I, I think it's also important to look at the fact that gold is now, which would be a flight to safety mm. in a normal uh, bearish market, is also down 70 points. And that's kind of signifying that we've got, you know, uh, margin calls, people are trying to get into cash, and that in a market like this, on a Friday afternoon, coming into three days of, of you know, a lot of wonder and anxiety, that the only safe haven is going to be cash. Yeah, and Peter, when we talk about how bad this week has been, do you think at all that there's been an overreaction? I mean, we've had a couple people on our live shows this week now saying, look, the actual data doesn't support this much of a sell-off. Do you think that a lot of it has just been kind of uh, headline-driven and stoking fear? Let's be clear that seven trading days ago, we were at a record high. So, yes, it's a bit of an air pocket. Whether it's an overreaction or not, I, I, I can't really address that. It's a reaction. It's fast and furious. There's fear in the market. If you look at the VIX going from $8 to $48, that's clear that a lot of it may be just irrational. It may have been fear and anxiety. I think that the problem is that we're not getting a clear story, that there are a lot of still unknowns. They did not, we did not get the, the announcement from at least our administration saying, we're going to backstop this situation. We don't know really what's going on. We'll support the economy, perhaps with a Fed cut rate if necessary. We'll protect our population if necessary. So I still think that people are not clear the way the information was disseminated. Right. A lot more unknowns than knowns, and that's what's causing this anxiety. Right. All right. Peter Tuckman, thanks very much. Joining us from the floor of the NYSE. Appreciate it. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.